Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just hopped out of the shower and I thought I would do a little get ready with me. So I'm first just going to brush out my hair because I am going to be blow drying it and curling it. So I'm going to prep it with this BC Bonacare Moisture Kick Spray. And then I'm going to apply some hair oil. This is the uh, Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Gizu, Jizu, I actually don't know how you pronounce this. If you know, please let me know in the comment section. And I'm gonna use my tangle teaser just to brush out my wet hair. So once my hair is all brushed, I'll let it air dry as much as possible while I do my skincare and my makeup, and then I will blow dry any remaining damp or wet parts and then curl it. So Let's start with skincare. I'm actually just gonna apply some Laneige lip mask because my lips are really dry. Of course, this is like a trend this time of year for my lips. They just get so, so dry. So it's been a little bit of time has passed since I last did a YouTube video on this channel. And I was just in London. I also just use a mix of the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum as well as the anti-pollution drops, which I love. Just to clarify, I love the anti-pollution drops. Hyaluronic acid, a little pricey. Okay. I'm also just gonna be applying a facial oil and a face mist. So I'm gonna use the Caudalie. This is the Beauty Elixir. I love this, I brought it on the plane. It is so, so good. It smells so nice. And I'm using the Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum, which I'm almost out of. It is so so sad i love this oil serum so much it's so hydrating and i just love the way it smells but yes my husband and i were just in london less than a month ago and we were there for like christmas time when all the lights are up and it's just is very festive this time of year and of course in very english london fashion we did afternoon tea and i've done afternoon tea once before at the ritz in toronto at the Ipoche um kitchen and bar i think it is and they do do afternoon teas and um i think i want to make it like a little christmas tradition for my husband and i to go to afternoon tea at christmas time it's just really nice like you get a mixture of you get a mixture of little like handheld sandwiches you also get um sweets and of course tea and scones or tea biscuits and it's just a really nice experience if you want you can also grab champagne so yeah we're going there and i'm very excited just to add that to our christmas traditions and it's kind of like a nice time to get a little bit dressed up like it's not super duper fancy but you know like a nice pair of trousers i'm wearing my aritzia effortless pants and then this little merino wool cardigan that I'm just kind of wearing as a shirt. So there's my sunscreen. I use the Elta MD UV Clear. I'm very sad. I'm actually getting my nails, my festive nails done tomorrow. So I'm gonna have my old grown out red nail polish and then these two nails have kind of broken so they're shorter. So I think I'm gonna have to get tips to get the style of nail art that I want because I'm gonna do something a little bit extra and fancy. So moving on to makeup, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless Filter in the shade number two fair and i'm just gonna apply this everywhere and the makeup that i'm showing you right now is kind of like my everyday winter makeup that i've been doing it is what i wore every single day when i was in london and it's just like very fresh glowy it looks really healthy and it gives you that like fresh glow when you have like really dehydrated skin in the winter time without like applying like a lot of bronzer or contour. So I like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because it just gives your skin that warmth, that glow. All right, so there we are with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And then I'm going in with my Westman Atelier Foundation Stick in 0.5. This is like the perfect shade for me. I found even one a little bit too deep and I'm just very fair in the summer or in the winter time and anything darker just looks unnatural on me so I really like this so there we are 
again with my Westman Atelier liquid blender brush and I just buff that in. And this brush is just so big and it just buffs everything so quickly into your skin so it really is good for those quick makeup days where you just want to quickly do your makeup. So I'm also vlogging, you know I have to catch up on my London vlogs, it's just so much footage to have to edit. Tomorrow I am making dessert for our Christmas Eve hosting. So I'm making a chocolate ganache tart, which I've made in the past topped with raspberries. It's just so good. It's like a blend of like a very rich decadent chocolate and you get that freshness and kind of like acidity and sourness with the raspberries. It's just a really nice balance. And I'm using my favorite concealer right now. This is the NARS Soft Matte in Affogato with the Hourglass Slanted Concealer Brush. And then I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning because I want to do it with these nails. I don't want to get my nails freshly done, make dessert and then have them like break or ding or anything like that. So I am getting my nails done after I make the tart. And I'm doing the tart the day before just because um, Jay is going to be in the kitchen pretty much cooking our Christmas dinner all day a lot of prep, a lot of oven time. So I just want to make sure that there's no fuss and like stress on Christmas Eve when we get ready to host. So yeah, tomorrow we're making tart, getting our festive nails. And then on Christmas Eve, it's going to just be a lot of getting ready. So we're going to be obviously getting our house clean, just like we did some tidying this morning, but really making sure that everything is clean and ready for hosting. And then I'm going to obviously set our table. I've got a lot of cute little festive things to really make a nice festive tablescape for Christmas. That's like one of my favorite things about hosting is just like the aesthetic of everything, the look, the vibes, just making everyone feel like super cozy and warm. Um, we have a game that's coming in from uh, Indigo. It's called Tapple and it looks like a circular game. It's got every letter of the elf yeah, every letter of the alphabet in it. I think. I think it even has like XYZ. And you get a category. So let's say the category is like pizza toppings. And the first person would say pepperoni and they would put down the P and then someone would say like olives, put down the O. So the whole goal is that you have to complete the entire alphabet without repeating a topping. So you can't repeat a P and say peppers because pepperoni has already been used. So it's kind of the one game that I know for sure. I'm going to think if there's any other games like last minute little DIY fun games. I've seen like people take like marshmallows and try to shovel them. I don't know. I feel like that just might be a little bit messy and I don't know where we would hold it because we live in an apartment. So have some prizes for the games. They're kind of just like little gag gifts. Um, useful but kind of like silly and funny so we have chocolates which is totally normal I feel like everyone's happy with like a chocolate bark and then we have a menu reader which is really silly I've already wrapped them because I want it to be like a surprise so people can't choose um, and then I have a airpod or like headphone cleaner which I think is kind of funny but also very useful and then just like a phone stand so you can watch like videos on your phone or something while you're having breakfast without like leaning it against books or whatever. So that's all I've been doing for contour is just applying the Westman Atelier Biscuit and then just buffing it out so it gives some color but it adds a little bit of definition as well. And then the thing that has been topping and like making my wintry everyday makeup is the Westman Atelier Cream Blush in Dow Dow. Doo -doo? Dow -dow. I think it's Dow -dow. and I am not sparse with this like I am very generous with my blush especially in winter I just like love the pop of color I just find it makes my skin look so alive and then I'm using the Westman Atelier original blender brush and just buffing that in some people might say this is super blush heavy actually this is quite blush heavy but I love it. I just feel like it gives you that very wintry, fresh, 
healthy. I was just in the cold vibe. It's like cold girl vibes, right? And the nose just kind of tops it all off to have like a little Rudolph nose. So yeah, that's very blushy. I think I might have applied a bit more than I usually do, but it's fine. There we are. Just blend it all in. And then for highlight, the Chanel Essential Balm in Sculpting. Just like a nice soft very like translucent highlighter it doesn't add really much color but it gives you very like healthy looking skin now it's time to set with the Givenchy prism libre the pinky color and I take this like fluffy brush and I mostly just set under my eye because I don't want any creasing so in and around my eye around my nose, chin, and just in like the center of my forehead. And then I just like fan it out. I just like this area to be nice and matte. For eyes, I'm using my um, Supreme Nudes Matte Masterpiece and a large fluffy brush. I'm just taking the Statuesque in Silhouette and I'm just gonna buff that to break this buff that into my eye socket okay so I just buffed that nudish color into my crease then I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter this is the um, Victoria Beckham chiffon and this is super pretty it looks like that and I just want to get this all on my fingers so I will use a brush and just like kind of pack it on. I'm gonna take a bit of a darker brown and I'm just gonna smudge that kind of like right on my lash line. And I'm using a little bit of a larger brush just because I'm using that to diffuse the color and just kind of fan it out. There we go, just like a little bit of deepness. So I think that's it for my face makeup. I like this Merit Lip Liner Signature Lip. Okay, and then for fragrance, I'm using the Jo Malone. This is the Vetiver and Golden Vanilla Cologne Intense. And I still have a little bit of a lash lift and tint, so I'm just going to leave it without any mascara. And I think now I'm going to blow dry the rest of my hair and then curl it. Alright, hair is blow dried and my favorite thing to do is apply this hair mist. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540. After my hair is fully dry, I do use my Bora Nylon Bristled Brush. This is my Mason Pearson brush in the popular size. It literally says popular on it. <laughs> but this is my little Lux purchase when I was in London and it is honestly the best brush I've ever used on my hair ever, which is super peculiar to think that there is a superior a superior hairbrush that is worth hundreds of dollars but it actually is so i'm just gonna kind of part my hair so my hair is all nice and curled i know it's not gonna last like this because my hair never holds a curl but here is our makeup look and my camera's about to die so this is perfect timing for afternoon tea. I'm very excited. We are probably going to leave in the next like 10 or so minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.